Alright, welcome back everybody to our Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. We are kicking off the ending of the game. Isn't that exciting? Here with our giant army that we assembled at the end of the video last time. And now we're going to move ahead with it. Going up this long, winding staircase. Hope you guys are having a good day today. It's a good weekend for me. Um, I am... Uh, I know that they don't watch these videos, so it's safe to tell you guys this. Um, but... <clears throat> I am we're, my my uh, fiance side of the family. We're doing a Secret Santa, and um, they my Secret Santa is her mom, and her mom asked for this nativity set to be painted, repainted because they've had it for a long time, and she, you know, the son, they put it outside. They have a nativity set that they put outside, and so. It's been, apparently they've had it for like a really long time. And so yeah, I just, I just kind of messed up. Oh man, that's, <laughs> I feel like I should have learned. Like they do that every time for me. Uh, but yeah, so like the Nativity set has like kind of worn out. And so she wanted it to get repainted and stuff, and so um, my fiance and I have been repainting it, and it looks pretty good. And I don't know, I'm, just, I'm really glad that she gets a. Uh, she's gonna be able to see that. Seems to me like uh, we didn't need to go up here. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure we just need to go down there. Where's my fly button? Alright, how many people? Dragons! Overhead! Stay low! Look at the map and everybody following us. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so the idea is that, um, so right now it's like two weeks away from Christmas, um, and so we're going to this week we are painting the the shepherd and the the shepherd and the sheep and the three wise men. Um, and then we're going, and then um, her sister is going to come up and pick up those people, those parts of the set, and then they're going to bring it down to. Uh, where their mom is, and then next week we're gonna paint uh, Mary and Joseph, and then um, and then and then they like to put baby Jesus on the nativity set on the day of Christmas because you know that's when Jesus was born, quote unquote, not actually, but that's the day we celebrate. And um, and yeah, so that's so then she's gonna get all the pieces slowly trickled in. That's a plan. What's happening here? Can't you see? It's over. 
There's a glimmer of something beyond his words, but in a moment it's gone, consumed with fear. I'm sorry. We can't. I'm sorry. Here we go. Whatever, bro. Our army is big enough. Alright, here we go. Yes. What the heck, guys? There's a freaking scroll bar and how many people there are in this fight. You know what? Let's add to it. Dismiss after combat until resummon. Cannot be summoned again if killed in combat. Well, upon Isabel to offer a furtive prayer to Saluna, healing up here by Alex. Six nearby allies. The caster can only use this feature once in their adventure. Alright, we're gonna summon the city watch. It's the homies. There's only three of them? Summon Dame Aelin, Saluna's Shining Paladin, to join your side in battle. I'm gonna save her. Hellstalker, your gear, uh, Kithraki, Infernal Commander, Red Dragon of Kithraki, er, why did I say that? Summon the Red Dragon of Supreme Kithrak Boss, to breathe the Wall of Fire onto the battlefield. You can only use this once in your adventure. Okay, so we have a heal, and we have this guy. Summon our Hell Riders. You know what? No, let's summon the big guy up here. Who is this? Oh, this is freaking. Uh... <laughs> Orpheus, uh, what does he do? What is this? He points, okay. He's like a monk. He punches people. Where's his freaking sword, bro? What happened to his sword? The guy had like this Giga sword and now he's. Oh, yeah, whatever. Play to the Phoenix. Okay, this is kind of cool. While not in combat, regain half your key points. Okay. No melee weapon equipped. Yeah, why does he not have his sword equipped? That's so weird. I think <laughs> is this like a bug or something, bro? Like where? Where is his weapon, bro? Uh, I don't know where this guy's weapon is. Whatever. It's kind of silly. We certainly have a lot of people to control. Wait, does Zevlor come? 
He does. That's pretty cool. What do I have to lose? It's so silly. That that freaking. <laughs> it's so silly that uh, we have that. It's so silly that we can use our bow. That's what I was trying to say. All right, my brain's like not working today. Oh, we got the mummy here. I'm kind of annoyed that I have to control the mummy, but. It is. Oh, I have to control this guy too. I mean, that's kind of cool though. But dude, he didn't use this in our fight against what's his face. Oh, this guy's broken. Oh, just look at that. Uh, more enemies are here. There's an oil barrel. Let's go, ghouls. This person rolled really high on their initiative. What? Oh. I guess, yeah, kill all of them. <laughs> so the reason why I'm summoning everybody here is because I know. Um, um, I know that like, you, you go through this fight and then you go up the stairs and there's not really much left here. So that's why I'm kind of summoning everybody because I haven't been able to see them. We did not summon everybody in my first playthrough because we were saving them for a better occasion and there never was a better occasion. So <laughs> so in your own playthroughs, if you have not gotten this far yet, which I assume that most of you guys have, but if you haven't, then certainly use everybody, you know, in this fight. Oh, you know what? I probably can use, um, what's his face as a weapon. I think he just needs to equip it, like, down here. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. I think it's a bug, actually. Yeah, he probably doesn't have it equipped. I really wish that us had, like, a fly button. Join us. Especially as you like, um, what? especially as you level up, or you like your elithid powers. That will kind of hard. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it didn't bug completely out. I thought it was gonna bug completely out. Where's this guy? What? What? That's insane, dude. What the heck? A normal city watch guy. Don't mind him. Just freaking. What is that? Calling for help.
watch I just realized I'm just uh, you know watching everybody use their moves. Uh, dang bro, these guys are no pushover. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I kinda thought the people would summon like at least like the these like smaller groups of people would be trash. But I, I guess they're not. I just got the short end stick by everything. Where did all of Lizelle's things go? Or like these. I guess this is why like I see most people when I see them play the game, they don't bother with the custom the custom hop bar. It just gets removed like constantly. I don't know why. <clears throat> it's alright though. Not that big of an inconvenience. Alright, got that bad boy. Got shattered. It's moving forward. Oh, it didn't blow up. That's awkward. Yeah, I feel like Orpheus is supposed to have his son, his sword. And he's supposed to be like pretty OP. Whatever. <laughs> Show me your fun. Oh, that's kind of bad. Are we pulling in more people? I guess we'll use our uh by concentrating on a spell. I don't know. Let's I'm playing as a mind player. Where is this guy going? Cost a vault cluster of damaging explosives that can possibly knock nearby creatures prone. <laughs> This fight is actually like so so much fun with all of the the allies here, and I really love this mechanic. It really is something that that's like if you didn't help anybody, then I imagine that this fight is actually kind of like annoying. I mean, I guess I would know. Like, I literally did this fight with just four people, and we didn't have any summons either. Like 
normal summons like uh, of these guys, the tools and stuff. Snared on us as if he needed to be ensnared. I also like that there's like, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, different enemy types. Like you have the winged horror, you have the absolutist cultist, you have the little brains. I wonder, oh right, this is the pier, they just, I wonder if actually the damage carries over for them. Oh, oh, maybe it's oh dude, I need to almost the gate for him, probably. Lazelle is there, she can open the gate for him. It's funny that they like lock you in, it's like, you didn't lock me in, it's like, you lock yourself in with me. Crazy. Are there more enemies over there? I didn't even know. Okay, I guess I get tell you guys while we're waiting here. You know, I got some. Well, this video offers some pretty good advice um, for you guys out there. As Christmas or the holidays, you know, whatever you celebrate, is coming. Well, I guess technically we're kind of here already. But as you're buying gifts for people, you know, if you're buying gifts for people, you know, just note that you don't have to break your bank. You know, I really mean that. I'm not just saying it. Just, just to say it. But I genuinely think it is a good piece of advice, you know, like you don't you don't have to buy people like super extravagant gifts and you know if people expect that from you then well I don't want to be super extreme but maybe you should evaluate reevaluate your uh, relationship with them. Because the uh, relationship isn't all about gifts. Of course well, well we'll get away from that, but you know, don't break your bank on buying gifts because you know just you being there to be a gift enough as yourself. Not the best execution of uh, what I was trying to say, but I think you guys get it. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Sometimes even something really small can go a long way. I wonder if the gods are watching. Like for example, you know, I'm painting this thing for my fiance's uh, mom. You know, I mean, you know, to be completely honest, the paint did cost. It was pretty expensive, but you know, if I had the paint, it would have been pretty, you know, pretty cheap. It was pretty easy to do. You know, I'm not an artist. I actually suck at art. I'm really bad. I'm, I'm pretty bad at, at anything art. Do I want to be good at art? Yeah, I do. Who doesn't? Just be like that. I'm not gonna say it's my fault. I'm bad at art. I didn't pay attention in art class or something. Why can I not? Oh, it has to be frightened. Okay. My bad. <clears throat> I 
But yeah, you know, I, I definitely think, you know, through my years that just sometimes being present is more of is, is a gift in itself. Being present. And I can tell you, like, you know, my cousins, you know, ever since, you know, we all went to college and stuff, and, you know, I'm, I'm out of college now. But, of, like, years ago when I was in college, um, whenever I would, I would come home, so I'd, I'd make the drive and come home. And I come back, and it's like, you know, none of my cousins are there, and they still live in our hometown. And I was like, you know, it's you know it's Thanksgiving, it's Christmas, it's like, where's everybody at? And they're like, oh, you know, they're working. And it's like, well, what do you mean they're working? It's like, they're living, <clears throat> they live right here. They couldn't ask for like, work off, and like, oh, no, you know, I only have Christmas off. They just don't ask for it off. You know, I have to say it just, uh, you know, makes me a little sad when I go home and I don't get to see all my family that I used to see year in and year out. But, you know, I guess different people have different priorities. But I can tell you that, you know, I don't need them to bring gifts or anything. I just want them to be there. Become absolute. Trade places. What? What? <laughs> that guy just fall? Damn, bro, this guy gets like zero shit. He's just going in. He's a Giga Chad. Uh, the enemies keep multiplying, bro. There's so many of them. We're just sitting here and just chilling, you know, for a video. I mean, you guys already know we're gonna win. That is a free res, which is kind of stupid. But... <clears throat> I wish I had a free res. They, <laughs> they fell really far. Boom! Damn, that guy is so strong. I just got an achievement. Kill a character with an unarmed strike. I guess that counts. Nothing will stand in my way. Mill next to Ghouls did not take the front line this time around. It's okay. Can't reach this thing. How are they able to reach this? Path is interrupted, guys. Chonker. Or you know what? Big damage. Mummy? Mummy's kinda mid. 
I would like it to have some type of uh, ranged ability. Alright, I don't know who that guy is healing. <laughs> okay, mass healing word on like nobody. You know, it's the bot that counts. Look at these buffs that Shadowheart has. What, are, what is all this stuff? Oh, it's from Zevlor. What the heck is absolute focus have only 7 HP? What are they doing here? Oh, I forgot there's an enemy. Oh man. Oh, hello. <laughs> Excuse me. How many more enemies do we have? are blocking my wind. Because like I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm actually kinda confused about that. I'm like what's going on with the AI there? What is the AI do? Yeah, see so you guys, those bushes, man. Don't mess with them. Got a job offer from somebody? It's got an email. I'll have to check that after this video. <clears throat> I've been looking for um, a higher paying job. So I've been getting my. I've been applying to a lot of things. I, uh. <laughs> I'm in sales, so I'm applying to a lot of sales jobs for now. <clears throat> it's like once I I started I put my my resume out on like a bunch of different websites. My mom was like, "Try for beer." I wasn't getting any like job offers, but once I started using like different, because before I was using like Indeed and LinkedIn, but I guess Indeed and LinkedIn I don't know people don't really reach out to you. But I, once I tried like ZipRecruiter and Career Builder, like dude, people just like spam me with emails. Kind of crazy. Nothing important is ever easy. All right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we're just in our turn. want that lady on your team. I wonder, what is she? A paladin? Because I know Shadowheart ain't got those spells. Maybe she does, and I'm just trolling. Be crazy if we learned that Shadowheart could have had way more offensive capabilities. Just had this whole time. Just let the AI finish out the work over there. Some enemies on the other side of the map. I don't really want to bring my people over there. It was a long fight though. I just realized it's like taking the whole episode to do this fight. I mean, understandably so. There's like freaking... How many people were in this fight? 30 at least? Maybe 40? Maybe not that much. Here we go. Oh, dude, guy just landed a five man stun. Four man stun. Hey, but she's not bothered. 
Hey, you know what? 21 damage is 21 damage. Ain't no shame in that. Bro, guy could have jumped, could have used Missy Step. Uh, what is that? Lowcaster has advantage. Who is this guy, bro? I want to be this dude. He's a paladin. No. He ate one of the pinballs. Alright, maybe we should bring some people. Why am I surprised by that? What am I doing? There's like a thing that you can heal over here. Is it only one? Alright, Claire. Yeah, dude, she's a cleric. Maybe it's like a different um, subclass that you can do, or specialization that you can do for Shadowheart, because she is a trickster. We went this time around. I think my friend, he was playing, he was playing as Shadowheart, as his main character, and I believe he went Life... Uh, life Weavers... I don't know, maybe it's just, it's just I just think it's called the path of life or whatever. <clears throat> no, stop killing each other. Not on my watch. Is that supposed to be ironic? Is that a pun? Never a dull moment. And they all run away. Well, we don't need money. So it's not looting. Uh, what happened to this thing? Oh, maybe you can only rest um, before the battle. Dang, it's kind of rough. Well, we have short rest. Whoa, <laughs> what's going on over here? <laughs> the spectator. Um, okay. Spectator, take its eye. That was pretty cool. That was a fun fight, right, guys? <clears throat> I had a lot of fun. I uh, wonder if the people spawn in with, like, if they're still damaged. That's something that we can test. Um, I think we killed everybody here. I'm, I'm gonna try and go a different path. Maybe we can go through this door. Let's see. There's another path over there. I'm gonna try this. I'll pick the impossible. I'll pick the impossible. We are here for you! Look at us. Orpheus, bro, how strong are you, dude? Not attack it. Medium toughness. Weak to slashing and force. Reaction, not reaction. Efficient pause. Okay, that was freaking OP. You hit 54 damage on that thing. Let's make a save. What am I doing? We could have wasted like 40 minutes there if we didn't save. Wanted the easy part. What was the point of that? A secret door. I see some like
I'm gonna try to get this thing open. Me exploring at the end of the game. Something good here, I hope. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and call the episode there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of running around. Um, we'll go through these big little doors, and then we'll start climbing, ascending. We get to the top, um, and then we'll go to the Nether Brain. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. The battle took the entire video. I think it's really cool that we get to call forth our allies, and we have uh, seven of them, and two of them are abilities, the Inferno and the Healing, but it is what it is. I kind of wish we'd be able to see Isabel fight and um, boss fight. Maybe there's a mod for that. Download that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like down below. We are coming to a close. I think that after Baldur's Gate 3, I'm going to add some diversity to the channel. Um, add some diversity to what we're playing because this game was really long and so we're probably going to move on to a shorter game um i'm looking at right now cocoon and justin Cousin, i don't really know how to pronounce it but yeah cocoon and justin they're about shorter experiences about four hours long each um and yeah and they're completely separate from the rpg genre so we'll move away from them and start playing some of that uh, show you guys some of the diverse games that I play because I do play quite a wide, wide variety of games and yeah so we'll move on to that but for now we'll continue with Baldur's Gate 3 we still got the epilogue to go through so we still got quite a bit of videos left in this series so don't be disappointed that disappointed um, that we're coming to the end anyways uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a great day